feels like bruises on my hips. Partially, I think, because I've been laying down and sitting a lot because I just haven't felt good. So, um, I'm sure once I get out and start walking and stuff, I'll feel a lot better. Oh, cravings. Let's talk about cravings, okay? Um, I've never really been, I mean, I liked pizza before, but it was kind of like, well, my fiance used to eat a lot of pizza, so I get tired of it. Well, he made one of those, you know, take home, you know, from the grocery store, Red Baron pizzas. Ah, oh, that smell. Mmm. But it was, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I gotta have a piece, I gotta have a piece. No, I wasn't touching it because I was throwing up that day. It didn't feel good. But one thing that I know that I'll eventually be able to eat and you're going to think I'm crazy because I like this, but my whole family does this. And it's kind of a, um, our nausea remedy. We eat lemons. Yes, lemons with salt. Feels really good on my tummy when I don't feel good. So I guess because I've been not feeling good and just because I love lemons, love them. Um, I have been craving lemons so bad. Um, and kid you not like every channel that I turn the TV to it's like someone squeezing lemon on something or they're you know adding lemon to this lemon zest or blah 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 and I'm like oh my gosh so like it's torture sorry my nose is like running ah uh, but anyway so so yeah lemons um so to kind of curve that I went out and got me some lemon juice and I don't, okay, you're going to think I'm really weird now. I love lemons, but I don't really like lemon juice. So, and, or not lemon juice. I love lemons, but I don't like lemonade. So, I, I mean, I like lemonade. It's okay, but um, I'd rather leave it than take it. Um, so, I decided that I was going to get lemon juice and just put a tiny tiny bit not a lot because obviously we know lemon has acid in it it's very acidic so I just put a tiny bit of it in my water so that it has a little bit of a lemon flavor and it and it helps it helps curve the the lemon crave um one of the suggestions that my friend had who had the surgery four months ago said that when you're craving chocolate go out and get yourself some of those peanut butter M&Ms because the peanut butter is protein, for one. There's a tiny bit of chocolate on the shell, but you can't have that until you're on solids, so don't eat that when you're on mush. Um, and she said that she'll just eat like three of them and then she'll be satisfied. Do not, whatever you do, I don't recommend this, and I'm not saying to do this, don't eat the whole bag. My cat just jumped up here, so you see a tail, um, because you will feel very sick because there is sugar. So that's it. Oh, and I'd like to say hi to Fran because I know she's probably going to watch this and that's my friend. She lives in Georgia and I live in California, but we've been friends forever and never met. So now she can kind of see me, but someday Fran, someday, <laughs> um, whoops, had the hiccups. Sorry. My little Zoe girl. Hi, to baby. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, she's going to go away. Hold on. I'm going to just try to spray her because she's not going to get down. Get up there. Come on. Up. Zoe, get down. Get down. I have to do this every time. She doesn't listen. Get down. <sighs> so, <laughs> she got squirt with water. She, it's not supposed to be up here. But anyway. Um, so that's it. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Hello to you. And hopefully I get some feedback. Hopefully I get some questions because I'd love to answer your questions. I mean, I'm freshly out of gastric bypass surgery. I've had the complications. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to feel like, oh man. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned this. Forgive me if I did. Um, my fiance asked me the other day, she jumped up here again. My fiance asked me the other day, 
Do you ever feel like you regret doing what you did? Or do you think it was a good decision? I'm kind of on the fence with that answer. Only because of all the stuff that I've gone through, I've cried, I've sat and thought, oh my gosh, like what did I do? But then I step on the scale. And I know why I had the surgery. And it wasn't to be able to eat all these things. And it wasn't to be able to fix any depression problems. It wasn't able to, it wasn't to fix any of my, you know, problems mentally that I've trying to deal with and my hurdles of things and trying to deal with, you know, why I ate this much. When did I eat this much? And really how often did I eat? It's not about that. Um, so my answer is no, I don't regret it. There's days where I wish I could go back and be like, oh, I want to eat that. But I know that got me here. I know that's why I did this. And I would never make a decision to have major surgery that could have so many risks just to lose weight if I wasn't willing to deal with the complications of everything. So please research everything. It is not not at all easy. In fact, I watched a video of a girl who was bawling her eyes out and I felt bad. I felt so horrible for her because I know exactly how that feels. And you are going to have a lot of hurdles. You, you may have some really tough times. So I tell you, research. Thanks.